pajama? Mm. Where are my pajama bottoms? On me. I got cold. You took my pants off? You take my pants off all the time. Yeah, when you're awake. Hey, um, if you go make some coffee, I might let you get in your pants. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It's a great day, huh? Farmer, there's a person out here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm September. Hi. Hi. I'm oh, Greg. September? Hi. 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 Oh, honey, mm -hmm. this is September. We grew up on the commune together. Isn't that nice? So I thought you were going to be here on Friday. Oh, well, you know how it goes. I stopped and talked to some migrant workers, and before you know it, I was picking squash and ragging on El Jefe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really should go put some pants on. He's not putting on pants because of me. No, see? no, no. He's a lawyer. He has to wear them for work. Hey, Dharma, something out there smells like whatever's in here. September's cooking. Is she cooking tires? I heard that. Oh, this would be an awkward moment if you hadn't already seen me with my pants off. Boy, Dharma, I never thought you'd live someplace with a microwave, a Cuisinart, and a lawyer. <laughs> Actually, the microwave and the Cuisinart came with the lawyer. It was a set. The astronaut came with boots and a helmet. <laughs> I don't get it. Honey, we're going to go to Abby and Larry's for a macrobiotic potluck dinner. Uh, September only eats food from the local ecosystem. Oh. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Everything in this salad was harvested from within a 10-mile radius. Here, try some. Uh, well, I, um... Oh, that's not bad. And most of the greens I found growing right in the cracks in the silence right within your building. You know, I step on those weeds every day, never even thought of eating them. What are the, um, what are the crunchy things? You know, I never know what to call them. Are they pill bugs or are they roly polies? <laughs> They're pine nuts, Greg, and you had that coming. I thought you were allergic to pine nuts. I am. They're bugs. <laughs> Did I just eat bugs? No, of course not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, my casserole is burning. What was it doing before? <laughs> is she staying long? Honey, I haven't seen her in 15 years. The least we could do is let her make fun of you. Oh. <laughs> sure. What are you doing with all this stuff? Oh, I'm giving it away. Why? Because my life's gotten too cluttered. Everything September owns fits in one backpack. Well, she eats weeds. <laughs> so you eat bugs. No, you know, you gotta be careful, you know? You stop owning things and they start owning you. Don't worry, I'm not gonna give away any of your stuff. I know you can't live without your things. Hold on, what things can't I live without? <laughs> All of your little electronic buddies. The TV, your computer, your electronic shaving cream warmer. I have a coarse beard. The heat softens it. Okay, we should get going, guys, because once this stuff separates, there's no getting it back together again. You know, if you don't mind, maybe I'll just, you know, stay here and watch some football. Mm-hmm. On your best friend, Mr. TV. Let's not start judging each other's friends here. <laughs> Hey, look what I found. Oh, doesn't that bring back memories? Boy, you think it would. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was that Halloween when we dressed up like endangered baby harp seals, then we went trick-or-treating at all the fur stores. You know, when I worked with Greenpeace, I wound up living with harp seals. Oh, wow, really? 
Yeah, we had stopped these hunters, but there was these two baby seals, and they had imprinted on me, and so I had to stay until they were weaned. <laughs> wow. Dharma hand-fed a baby bird that fell out of a nest once. <laughs> it died. <laughs> oh, look at that. We're out of tea. Um, oh, hey, while I'm up, does anyone want any dessert? Abby made a flourless organic carrot cake. Oh, do we know how far away those carrots were grown? No, no, if you're right, we don't. Uh, you know what? I'll go see if the crab apples are right. So did I tell you I ran into Treehouse Bob from the commune when I was in Costa Rica? No kidding. Treehouse Bob McCluskey or Treehouse Bob Dawson? <laughs> oh, wow, what a shame. Those crab apples are not ripe. Oh, we have figs. Oh, good figs. <laughs> Aren't you proud of September, Dharma? You know, it's so easy to drift away from her ideals, but she's really stayed the course. Mm. Three hunger strikes in one year. <laughs> it's not such a big deal. She's a really picky eater. Oh, no, no, no. I almost had it. one. Let me try again. Dharma, you should have brought your video camera. If I had known there was going to be fig juggling, I would have. <laughs> And that's how Fig Newton discovered gravity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late September. Oh, uh, actually, it's mid-October. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is fun. It's just we should go, because I'm getting a little tired. Really? I'm not. I guess I'm still on Amsterdam time. You and me both. <laughs> you know what, honey? You could just stay here. You could use Dharma's old room. Oh, really? That would be great, if that's okay with you. Oh, it's more than okay. And actually, it was my idea. I was going to say that before I got hit with the fig. <laughs> so, um, so I'll just call you, and then we'll get some coffee in the morning? Well, only if we wake up in Brazil. <laughs> I was so joking. <laughs> and then she led us all in a song that Nelson Mandela taught her. Nelson Mandela? Really? I'm sorry, but Nelson Mandela. Oh, you're right. She's incredible. Did I tell you she weaned seals? So you saved that baby bird. Sure. I'm a, you're every bit as good a person as September is. Yeah, I am every bit as good as she is. I just need to fundamentally change the way I live. How? Well, for example, I know there's this cave you can live in for five months out of the year. I, I, I don't want to live in a cave. Well, what's your suggestion? Well, if you really want to simplify... Yeah. I was thinking that maybe there was something to what you were saying about the television, and maybe it wouldn't be the worst idea to... think about giving it away. That's great. Oh, that's a great start. Where are you going? Go roll it down to the curb, and then it'll be gone by morning. I was thinking after the Super Bowl. <laughs> what you watching? Streets of San Francisco. Hey, I know that bar. I was in that bar the night you were born. <laughs> Where's Dharma? She's out pricing beehives. She wants to turn our electricity off and make our own candles. Is this normal for her, or has the pimento slipped out of the olive? I think I should say something, or should I just be supportive and let this play out? Listen, son. Sometimes in a marriage, a husband doesn't have a very clear understanding of what's going on. Uh-huh. That's it. Drink. Hey, Abby. Hi, hon. I made you something. Oh, darn, that's beautiful. I was just out communing with nature, you know, reconnecting with Mother Earth. You know me. <laughs> and I saw these flowers. They were so beautiful, and I thought of you. Oh, Dharma. Honey, these are golden poppies. Oh, really? Yeah, they're so pretty. No, we don't we don't pick 
golden poppies, honey. They're protected. Oh. <laughs> Apparently not very well. <laughs> you know what? We'll put them in the compost, and, and it can be our gift back to Mother Earth. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Where's September? Oh, she's off somewhere with your father. Boy, they have been absolutely inseparable. She stayed up all night last night listening to him sing his Watergate rock opera. All five hours? Yeah. Oh, I never made it past, I suppose, so Bibi Rebozo. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. What you got there? Oh, some camping stuff for Larry. Because he's a big baby and he's afraid of little rain. I sleep on my back and I'm a mouth breather. I could drown. Oh. <laughs> you guys going camping? Oh, yeah. You know that winter solstice trip your mother and I always take to the desert? Yeah. Well, I figured I'd have to miss it this year because of the baby. But September wants to go. <sighs> oh, I would have gone with you. Well, Pumpkin, you can come too. We'll just have to get another one of these. What is that? I don't know, but we only have two. <laughs> Okay, let's try to set this stuff up. Right. We're gonna spend the night in the backyard and test it out. Don't bring us any food. We're gonna live off the land. Woo! <laughs> They're gonna sleep together out there in the backyard in the tent? I guess so. And you're fine with that? What could be the problem? <laughs> oh, my God. Larry, did you turn off the sprinklers? <laughs> I was just catching up on some news. Mm. From what I hear, the castaways never get off the island. It was a, I, uh, what are you doing here? We needed to talk, and you weren't at home. What's wrong? September has the hots for my dad. You mean like hots for sex? <laughs> yes, hots. They're sharing a pup tent. I don't know that expression. <laughs> small tent used for camping, and they're sharing it tonight in the backyard. That doesn't mean that they're having sex. That just means that they're, they're, uh, really weird. Gregory, Celia has informed me we don't own TV trays. However, if you would like, we can take a tray from the tea service and put it on a luggage stand. Never mind, Mother. Um, can you give, give us a minute? Oh, all right. Honey, I'm telling you, my friend is trying to seduce my father. She gives him massages, she braided his ponytail, and then when he talks, she gets this lovesick, dreamy look in her eyes. I'm sorry, this is Larry that we're speaking of? <laughs> Donna, September hasn't seen your parents in a long time. They're, they're kindred spirits. She obviously likes your dad, but not in that way. Oh, I don't know. I think Dom is right to be suspicious. Mother. Gregory, you, you do not see what I see. Come to a country club luncheon, count the number of men there with women one-third their age. It is a national epidemic, and you cannot raise money to fight it. You're not helping, Mother. It is everywhere, Gregory, for heaven's sake. Look, look, the gentleman with the ascot being tempted by that young tart, wearing a sequin cocktail dress in the middle of the day. <laughs> That's all she brought on the boat. Kitty, what do you think I should do? Oh? I could give you the name of a private detective that I have used from time to time. He's very discreet. Mother, she doesn't need to hire a private detective. Yeah. It's not like I don't know what they're doing. Oh, Dharma, you don't know what they're doing. What is he talking about? The woman has a trunk full of clothes. <laughs> wow, it sure is warm on our camping trip in the desert. Not for long. <laughs> Am I interrupting something? Oh, no. We're just playing with our pants. I should put the goat in the pen if we're going to be sleeping in the backyard. Yeah, I'll be right out. Yeah, I wouldn't want that goat to ruin your little camp out. No, no, we wouldn't. Because three's a crowd, right? Yeah, I guess. I mean, when one of them's a goat. <laughs> Okay, I'm not good at being all ah, and woo, so I'm just gonna say it. Are you sleeping with Larry? What? No, 
Oh, how could you even think that? Well, so, Tanner, the massages, the camping, the detachable pants. And I love my father, but no one sits through his whole Watergate opera. <laughs> okay. I guess I could see how you thought that. No, no, Dharma. <sighs> okay. Here's the deal. I've never known who my father was, and I didn't really care. But when my mom died, it felt really weird being all alone. So I went through her letters and stuff, and I narrowed it down to five guys that she might have had a relationship with. <laughs> Do you think Larry might be your father? Maybe. Wow. Wow. But the thing is, is I didn't want to disrupt anybody's life, so I just, I figured I would hang out with each one of them, and that way I'd know that somewhere in there, I spent time with my dad. <laughs> okay! The tent is up! <laughs> no, no, false alarm! <laughs> He's such a goofball. I know. <laughs> oh, I should have told you before. Okay! Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm gonna go give him a hand. Okay. Okay? Oh. Uh, the Dow Industrial's down about 12 and a half. Hi. <laughs> well, you're right. They're not having an affair. Well, I'm not gonna say I told you so, but I am gonna make the face. <laughs> I must have been in there for months. You know, she was acting really weird because she thinks Larry might be her father. Could he be? No. Look, I went through Abby's picture drawer and I found this. It's their first day on the commune, right? There's Abby holding me. There's Larry. With hair. No, he was coming it over. It was a swoop do. <laughs> and that's September's mom. She's already pregnant, and that's the day she met Larry. Did you show her this? No, oh, not yet. She and Larry are having a sleepover. It didn't seem like the right time. And I gotta say, you kind of lucked out here. What do you mean? Well, this way you won't have to spend the rest of your life, you know, computing with a perfect sister who's out to save the world, and we can have a TV again. <laughs> you didn't give away the TV to compete with her. Yes, you did. Well, obviously, but don't make the face. <laughs> Dharma. Hi. Hi. You didn't say goodbye. Are we okay? Oh, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. We're fine. Well, listen, I'm going to split tonight. Why? I didn't want to screw up anybody's family, and I kind of feel that I am. No, you're not. No, I am. I just was having so much fun with Larry. Wow. Listen. And he was the last guy on my list, mm -hmm. and he's the only guy I really liked. I hope he's my dad. <sighs> I hope he is, too. <laughs> so I'll see you in a couple months, right? Really? What for? For the camping trip. Ah. Larry always gets us lost in the middle of the desert. You're the only one who knows how to make a meal out of twigs and dirt. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you off to? Oh, uh, Martin Sheen is going to chain himself to something this weekend, so I hope I'll help out. <laughs> Bye. Hey, there, there, there weren't really bugs in the salad, were there? <sighs> who would put bugs in a salad? <laughs> You did a very nice thing there. Yeah. Huh. You want to go get yourself a new TV, don't you? Oh, yeah. Do <laughs> you want to um, talk or... No, no, go, go. Get picture in picture. 